I turned my pain to purpose. I'm trying to tell you how much your life can turn around from nothing to something. Like I'm telling you how things can happen like this. It's like you're waiting for something. You know it's meant to be in your life. So sometimes things might still be coming to your life, but it might not come at the duration of which you want it. It's okay to be in a bad place. It's okay to be sad, but it's not okay to stay in it. Hey besties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have such a topic for you and it's how you change your pain to purpose. Specifically, I'm going to be telling you how I change my pain to purpose. And oh my God, first off, can we thank Ali Pearl for this video because they sponsored this video once again. This is how it came in. I mean, you guys know I already took the hair out the bag, but please, you see that it matches my outfit because today we're what? We're Pink Panthers, baby. So it comes with, oh my comes with this, a head wrap, it's so cute, it's blue. I have the pink one already, so yeah, just saying. And a wig cap as well that matches my color, I love them. I mean, they never miss on the edge brushes and you guys know this. And also the lashes. You guys, when I tell you that 2020 was the worst year of my life, it went from 2018 to 2020, those two years, I don't joke with it. I, I joke with it because it, there was so much pain, so much stress. And like, you know how you start a new year, right? And you're always wishing for it to be better than the last year. And then you enter a year that it's just bad. It was just bad. I was like, God, this time my prayer did not work. But then I know that that was God's plan for my life in that season. My life just changed from for the better. And I was like, wow. Like, I never knew I would know myself as much as I know myself. Like, I am so happy with who I am. Disregarding what I do, all of that. Like, I'm genuinely happy being Francis. And... I feel like that's where I knew what my purpose is. But then one of the most, most important thing is how you turn that pain, the thing that like gets you down the most into something that actually like you're going to sit down and be like, wow, you're one thing away from changing your life for the better or for the worse. But that's what we're going to be talking about on this video. So let's get into it. And of course, you know, my lovely hairstylist, Shola, is going to be doing my hair. You know, do my hair while I spill you all the tea. So yeah, keep watching, babies. Natural beauty, what are you saying? What are you saying? Gosh, I can't wait to get into this topic. You guys, can we just talk about like, what? No way, no way, no way, no way. I love it, I love it, I love it. Like, it's giving, it's giving, I'm excited. So when I say 2019, 2020 were quite terrible, right? So it started off in a way whereby I felt like I had such vision for myself. It's like, I'm a go-getter. I know what I want from life. I want to get this. I want to do this. I want to do that, right? And suddenly, I'm in a place whereby I'm too comfortable. I'm forgetting who I am. I'm relying too much on everybody else and every other opinion but my own, right? The worst part was like, I was not also in... A relationship that was draining right i think i spoke about it in the podcast with susanna toby so at first i'm like getting it you know a job here getting this i need to do this i want to be so big i want to do this i want to make my own money and then i started letting people in that were selling me dreams of oh yeah i'll get this for you oh yeah i'll do this for you i'll do that for you you're selling me a dream of oh we're gonna get married or oh, this is gonna get done oh yeah you're going to be comfortable you don't have to work so much and like i said it's fine right i'm telling you my story and then i remember this day one of my friends in school he asked me he was like so what are you gonna do after like uni what's the plan and i was like oh yeah i'm gonna get married to dot 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 I hear the videos like, wait, you've never started like this before. Before, whenever I ask you about your future or your goals, you were talking about how big you want to be, how you want to do this, how you want to change life, how you want to, you know, all of that. Like, you know when you see someone that just has dreams, right? And he was like, you just don't sound like the same person. And I swear it hit me. And I was just like, wow, have I changed? Has my purpose changed? Have I gotten distracted? That was where the confusion started. And then me and that person broke up. And then there was someone else I started seeing. And bro will i tell you that i forgot who i was i promise you like whenever i see my pictures from then or my videos like on snap story right i'm just like who was this girl like she was so confused like she didn't know who she was she didn't know what she could command she didn't know 
that she could just be herself to attain every single thing she needs like she was trying to be everyone else but herself it is a very crazy place to be i promise you because at some point all my friends were against this like this is not about the relationship but i'm going to tell you like how the pain started right all my friends were against this relationship because there was always one problem or the other it was always one hurt or the other it was always it wasn't always all trauma or the other i was like back to back like bro so my friends were like nah you don't need the stress and i'm like no i really love this person blah, blah blah all that shit you know breaking up getting back breaking up getting back one thing that does you get addicted you're not probably addicted to the person but you're addicted to the routine this person now starts to feel like you're forever right because like, ah, we'll never break up we will have an issue we're gonna fix it we're meant to be you now start this thing called trauma bonding so i feel like i was at that point where i was just like comfortable i was used to this person i i was working less like my creativity was on what like i could be creative right but it's like i wanted to spend more time with this person rather than do what i have to do like work and like do more and do better right and then this person is telling me the dream as well I'm like oh yeah though i'm gonna get you an apartment i know how you always wait a house for yourself i'm gonna get you this i'm gonna get you that eventually when it came to a place whereby we actually split like when i say it was a very terrible place like i literally felt like an entire different person i became an angry person i was filled with so much anger i remember my lecturer as they'll be like francis you're always so angry and i wasn't like verbal or like assertive or something like okay let him cut the snip snip So like I said, I'm not really going to talk about the relationship or anything, right? I'm just telling you the backstory to when the pain like was there. So I was holding a lot of hate and I was going back to someone that was hurting me. You know how they say, don't go back to what God has healed you from. I was going back. And when I think about it now, I'm like, wow, maybe the first time we broke up or the first time I saw something, I could have left, right? Because I was just dragged. But I am glad because when you say I turned my pain to purpose, I turned my pain to purpose. It's like, I don't regret it. If it was going to cost me to be where I am, right? I don't regret it at all. I broke up and everything for the, this was the last time. Like I was done. Bro, when I said I didn't look back, honey, you know that mentality of when you're done with school, you move out of your parents' house, you start your life. Oh, I had that programming of like, finish school, have your own apartment or not, or move into your man's place and then get married and boom, your life has started. Honey, no, 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 no. Fix that programming, but that's that's a different video on its own. So I had that in my head and it was just a lot to take in like, okay, where's my life going to go from now? Now I don't even know who I am. I don't even know how to create. So every time I would try creating, like if, if things were not just clicking, like even me, I didn't like what I was putting out there. And that's one thing as a creator. When you don't even like what you're putting out there, how do you expect other people to like it? That's why I always tell people, like, it starts from you. Like, you be you. The knowledge and the vision God puts in you is put there for a reason. I know sometimes we don't have the ability to do what we want to do genuinely, and I understand. But as long as you're starting somewhere, you're getting better at it, you're trying your best. Trust me, you're going to get somewhere, right? So I was genuinely not liking it because I, I was in a good mental space. Even though, like, I wasn't necessarily hurting, but I felt like I was just dumped from the sky and I was like, fuck. Like, what am I going to do from here? What's going to happen? Like, it was a lot already. Do you understand? So I was even, like, used to always staying with him. Like, not living there, but obviously spending a lot of time there. So just being at home full time is like, whew. I can't lie. Reality hits me. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. And then the worst part, I was now getting jobs. Because I wasn't as consistent as, as could be. I was comfortable. Because then I was like, oh, people always, like, tag me as, like, the top influencer in Abuja, right? That was why I moved to Lagos. But, bro, whenever you have that mentality of, ah, People know me now, I'm, I'm bad at this. I don't have to put much effort stop right there, right? Comfort is a no, let me tell you. Like, I think what even started making me better is that I stopped creating content for people that know me. I started creating content for people who don't even know me. People that would just see me randomly, would they like what I put out there? Moving to this, right? I was with no money. You know, it's a fine girl, no money. <laughs> I was just sat, like, thinking about my life back to back. And I'm just like, is this my life? When my friends in Lagos come to Abuja, they hang out. And I just have to act like I was happy, you know, dress up nice. Oh, yeah, wear nice shoes, wear nice clothes look good and come out and act like everything is okay but everything was not okay it was too much to bear i mean i'm a young girl now why am i like trying so hard to be happy like it's okay not to be happy that's another thing you guys know i always say it's okay to be in a bad place it's okay to be sad right but it's not okay to stay in it here is when things start to turn around so luckily for me i don't know how but I started to come to Lagos just for to see my friends. Like I, because I used to usually come from school and stuff. When I was in uni, I would literally come for maybe like two days, three days. So this time, and you know, COVID happened, so I hadn't been in Lagos throughout 2020, right? 
So I now came to see my friend. There was a close friend of mine, like we should be really close, right? We were just together and everything was so fine. And I was just in a happier place, right? Like I didn't really have to fake anything. And then obviously I was hanging out with other influencers as well. Like everything just kind of felt natural. I don't know how to explain it. Like it just felt like it was where I was meant to be. I didn't even think about moving at all. Like, ah, like from where we want money, how? Do you understand? So I was just like, mm -mm. like I never saw myself paying rent. And that's why I always tell you, like as, as far as you can see, you will achieve, right? I never saw it. And one day we we're just having breakfast, right? And she just she was like, how about you just move to Lagos? And I was just there, I was like, what is actually stopping me? I was like, do you know what? I'm going to move to Lagos. I'm not even, it was just that shit. It was that random me. This one had no rent. <laughs> no, do you understand? It was so random. Like, do you know what it is to move from a parent's house? I'm not trying to discourage anybody. I'm trying to tell you how much your life can turn around. You get from nothing to something. Like, I'm telling you how things can happen like this, and you're like, wait. I, I didn't even stress about it. Like, I never, I wasn't like, oh, how will I then pay my rent? Like, the way for it to happen happened like this. So I'm over here thinking, like, oh, I need a job. You know, then I was still a model, so I was like, oh, do you, can I join this money agency? What do you think about this? Do, 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 do. Then again, job started coming in, got the job, rent came in, everything, everything just started happening like this, like this, like this, like this, bro. I just wanted my friend, we always prayed together, right? And when I called him and I told him, he was just like, Frat said, wow. Like, guy was almost in tears because he knew everything I was going through. He even knew when I gave my life to Christ in 2020. That's what happened officially. Like, you know, you always go to church and say, I give my life to Christ every day. You stand up, go to the altar. Should I give my life to Christ? You go back. <laughs> like, that time when I did give my life to Christ was the first time I genuinely felt peace. So this was way before this. So even when I did give my life to Christ, like, this was after the breakup. I'm not joking, you guys. Like, I didn't even think about this part and I'm so glad God put it in my head because it was after the breakup that right? it didn't happen. And I remember when I got back with that person that I was in a relationship with, he was saying stuff like, oh, hey, you're for me giving your life to Christ. Mm, don't worry. I'll, after one week, we'll see. And I told him, see, even when I'm 30 years old, you're going to ask me about this and I'll tell you I still have peace. And I remember that I said it with so much confidence because, you know, people always expect, oh, today you're onto something, next week. And I was like, nah, this peace that I feel is going nowhere. You know, even with all of these bad things were still happening to me, oh, life was still not sweet. And I was still like, God, I know everything is your plan. I just put it in. So when everything happened, when I went from not having at all to having i was just like how did it till today like bro i don't know how like i don't know how i didn't need anybody that was selling me a dream it was so like wow to me and thankfully i told my mom i told my mom i was going to come for nyc that was kind of a lie and thankfully my mom allowed me which was shocking because this was my mom that was really calling me every 7 p.m ah francis you know you have coffee you come back to the house like imagine having that life like oh i had a curfew right back to back every single day for her to let me leave alone as someone is telling me is not good i mean my mom is very chill though like don't get me wrong but obviously at stages of life right obviously she was a lot more secure about me and my movements then like a lot and that's how basically how i grew up and the thing about it like i know as i say this relationship you think it's like oh yeah break up that didn't hurt me like what i went through in that relationship literally changed my life it changed my perspective it changed how i saw myself so being in a position whereby i could have just said you know what i'm sad i'm broken i'm going to stay at home i'm just going to give up on myself because i could have i promise you it was that bad i definitely could have and let me tell you guys that's one of the reasons why i have like this kind of videos where i sit down and like people are like oh my god friends you have so much to say about this like how do you know about this because i have <laughs> Who is his own has tough life? Like, ha! Ah. I literally told myself that now, nah, like, you have to do something about it. Moving to Lagos, I was like, I'm going to pick myself up. And guys, forget that I said, oh yeah, I never felt sad. As that. Like, there were times I cried. I remember one time I had such a panic attack. I'm not even lying. I had to call my friend. I was crying so much, like, so too much. I couldn't stop. And that was happening to me quite often. Actually, like, on particular days that were like anniversaries to to something that happened like maybe a snapchat memory obviously you will know one year ago this happened and i'm just like oh my god i can't believe i let this person do to me and i start to cry and i start to panic so i had that a lot but i had to always show up i had to tell myself Frankly, you have to stand up you have to show up i kid you guys not like even up to last week i'm in the car i'm coming back from the club with my girl i'm having fun and everything my mood switches i just remember like wow, I really let this person do this to me. I mean, I'm like down, like my mood is down. I'm going to my room. I'm almost crying. I have to call my friend like that knows like about what has happened to me. And I'm like, you know, why can't I heal from this? And that's why people say healing. It's been two years, like since 2020. Now this is 2022, right? It's been two years. 
but I'm still healing. Even when I had the rent and I moved, like before I could even like furnish the place, it took a while and I'm so grateful to God that that happened. But the main point was even getting jobs, like, oh yeah, finally people were actually seeing me as an actual influencer and it's not just about me saying, oh yeah, I'm the best. Because when I came to Lagos, I was, I was a nobody. I wasn't really a nobody, right? But no one gave a shit. Like, Francis, who? Like, okay, cool. Like, you're cute. Okay, I'm cute too. Like, <laughs> what else do you bring to the table? Do you understand? So I was meeting with a lot of people that like, they knew who they were. And you know, if you know, you know that every girl in Lagos, um, they know who they are. <laughs> and another thing is, I could have seen these people and seen them as intimidation. Like, and I'll be like, oh, wow, ah, it's too much. Oh, the competition. I know some people that like, they can't come to Lagos because it's too much. The competition is higher. But when I look at myself now, I'm like, oh my God, FC. There's this kind of peace and calmness I have with everything now. Like, if it's meant for me, it will be for me. If it's not meant for me, I will thank God though. I just have a roof over my head. At least, oh, there's air, there's food, there's water. Like, that's i feel like that's that's peace for me right now i just feel like i'm not all over the place because i'm like i'm just every little hole i find there's like an advice there coming in finally getting like recognized being put in places where i met people that were so happy and so welcoming i promise you i feel like when i moved here everyone was welcoming and that's why i say god's plan because i remember i told my friend i'm like i don't know why I want to move to Lagos, but I feel like it's meant to be. My friend was like, you need to move. I didn't tell people. The people in Lagos, they don't know I was moving until they saw me for like a month, like, FT, how far? I'm like, yeah, I got a house, I'm moving. Because I don't like talking about my plans before I do it. Whoa, Ali Pearl, Ali Pearl. Uh-uh. The hair is looking so nice. Bro, I always tell people, like, I want to even move places. I want to go to different countries. I want to go to different places. Like, I love to see things that make me want to grow. Like, and that's one thing about it. I had to choose to be that person. Like, not to shy away from the big, the glitz, the glamour, the... You know, when you see someone bigger than you, richer than you, are like, oh my God, no. No, if you know my friends, I love eh? My friends, I love them rich as fuck. Well. Like, I don't choose them. But even my friends know that, like, when they do big things, I'm always, like, clap. I'm the one, like, ah. Even if I don't know you, if I'm watching your story, and I'm like, oh my God, yes, girl. Like, give them. Like, you get, like, I love seeing things like this because it motivates me. Like, it shows me that, oh yeah, like, there is more. And sometimes, let me tell you something, jealousy is a feeling, it's normal, it's like being happy, it's like being sad, it's, it's a feeling. But that doesn't mean you have to, like, accept it and make it a way for you to feel bad and feel down. Whenever you see someone doing good, let that be some kind of way to be like, you know, if person can do it, I can do it. And that's why I'm showing this and I'm talking about this today. My life hasn't always been perfect. It hasn't always been great it's still not perfect but for me it's perfect for me for me as i'm sitting like this i love everything about it when i see myself now i'm like oh my god i really wish everyone and people and everyone watching i genuinely wish you guys could know that you would will be here you will be here and even bigger like i want to even be seeing you bigger i remember one girl i saw at the gym the other day she was like oh my god she loves my youtube she wants to start youtube but she has anxiety if you're watching this girl love you and i told that girl like the fact that you have anxiety, right? People will love you for that. You can actually start a channel and you tell people that, yo, actually, I get so nervous in front of the camera. I don't know what to say. I do. People can relate to that. People will love you for that. So just like, you know, all still, you know, gas and chain compliment. And I'm like, girl, you better start your YouTube. And I hope the next time we meet, I'll be the person all gassed about you. Like, oh, girl, like, I love your YouTube channel. Like, that's how life will be. Like, that's how life is. I grew up watching YouTube. I grew up watching people do this thing. And I'm like, how, how can you do it? Like, I never saw myself doing it and here I am today and I'm like so grateful and it's not by my power, do you understand? It's not by my own mind, it's not by me having a phone, it's not by all of that. If you're out there going through whatever and feeling like you don't have anything to pick yourself up or you're alone, you're, I've been there, like I've felt alone almost all my, even all my life, I felt alone, I just felt like I was by myself. I'm just saying that you could be someone, like you can be and you you probably will be and that's why i say every time like all the dreams all the things god puts in your head is not there for nothing trust me like you can sit with a layman and you find that their dreams are so different from yours you be like ah you think everybody's dreaming of what you're dreaming about no i should think like that, that ah, everybody wants this like everybody wants that like you might think like that but stop thinking like that think like oh wow god for you to put this in my head I'm going to achieve it because as far as i can see so shall i achieve it hey guys you guys see 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 I'm going to stop talking about YouTube. I'm always talking. Ah. But do you know, genuinely, I love when I talk on my YouTube channel. Like, I love it the most. Like, when I watch my vlogs now, I'm like, oh, fun, cool, great. But when I sit down and talk, I'm like, yay, girl, you go, girl. You you know, I, I like it. I don't know. I like it. Okay. Oh, Is this face first? I know I look pretty. Shall I thank you for the compliment? <laughs> she said, no way, you're looking pretty. So like, what's this? You know when someone is whining you, they have to just throw in one compliment. <laughs> This is so cute! Ah! Bro! 
this hair is fine. This hair is fine. Like what? Should I leave it like the chef at the back, guys? It feels full. Like it's like volume is a a a liter. Okay, okay. Talk me a shit. I love it. It's not and it's soft. So this is basically for whoever is in their bed feeling like you've gone through this and it's a break you and there's no way you see yourself being better, standing up from bed, or even just seeing yourself having some kind of purpose. Like you feel like someone has drained you of that. You don't even know what you're going to do with your life. Like I am literally a living example and testimony that you can do it. Like you don't need so much money to start anything. I like just put your mind to it and I promise you the universe will work for your good i know it sounds crazy it's like oh why do i have to go through pain for good to come to me but sometimes when someone does something deep to you you feel some kind of pain just be your mind that with this pain right so much good is going to come from me like that's when you're going to pray with so much passion finding your purpose is something that like for me i genuinely feel like my purpose in life is to serve others right and that's why even when i do videos like this i'm just in my head knowing that i'm helping someone just knowing that someone's life will be a bit better or just helping them advice and stuff always just makes me feel better i feel like this is my way of serving people you know when they say that things you go through, right, is for a particular purpose. Like, if I hadn't gone through things I have gone through in life, if I didn't start from a place where I had less, so much less, I wouldn't be in a place where I can talk about things like this. And I'm so grateful and glad that I can speak on stuff like this, right, and like actually relate to it. And when I tell you that things happening to you will build you, like, it will build you in such a way that when you think back, you'll be like, damn, like, I know that hurt, but it was worth it. Oh my God, uh, like... Mm, mm, oh my god, I look so cute. Like, bro, let me even talk about this, right? There was a point in my life I didn't even have that many wigs. Like, I genuinely was always like, oh my god, I want a front touch. I want to travel. I'll be like, what front touch I want? Because I'll be seeing girls play with them. I'm like, mm -hmm. you get? I'll be like, I want this. You get like, and bro, I just had my closures, my bow. You know, you don't say just wait. Bro, you but now, <laughs> hey, and it's not to brag, it's like one day I actually thought about something, I'm like, God, how did this happen? And that's how life happens, it happens like this. And that's why, like, when things happen, I always think about it, and I'm like, sometimes when things don't happen for my good, I'm like, God, I know why, because God loves when you give Him all the glory, right? When some things don't happen your way, you just know that it's not, it's not the time, because when it's time for it to happen, like, the happiness you feel, the gratitude you feel, everything will be so worth it, like, it's a bit. When I see people and they're like, oh my god, I want your life and everything. And they just, you know, they just make it seem like, oh my god, your life has always been perfect. And I'm just like, no. Like, I want people to, okay, oh, sure, like, okay, okay, okay. I want people to know that it hasn't always been perfect. It got here eventually. Anyway, um, you guys, so we plait the hair. It's really cute. It's giving what it's meant to give. I mean, <laughs> come on now. Like, like. Yeah, I'm so loving it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Let me show you the back. I absolutely love my hair. And I'm just saying, this is the point whereby you have to pick yourself up. I promise you, it's not by your power. It's not by your might, right? But then you have to put in the effort. You have to know that things you go through are meant to build you. Like your life is going a particular way. Like don't look at anybody's life. Even when good things happen to someone else, just be happy for them. Just tell yourself that, you know what? Like the fact that this has happened to someone, I believe it happened for me too. So be happy for people in a way of you knowing that it's coming. One thing someone told me before, right? It's 8 p.m. now, right? I haven't had dinner. I'm very hungry, but I haven't had dinner. There's a way I'm going to react when I know that there's dinner downstairs. I can literally just go downstairs and I'll have dinner or order. And there's just food. There will be food no matter what. But there's a way I'll react when I don't have, when I don't know where the food is coming from. When it's like, oh my God, the food, is this food going to come? Is this food going to come? Where's food? I don't have food. But you know that the food will still come. It's like you're waiting for something. You know it's meant to be in your life. All you have to do is to be patient. Like there's a way you are when you're anticipating something. So sometimes things might still be coming to your life, but it might not come at the duration of which you want it. It might not come as soon as you want it. It might not come in that one week, that one month. It might not even come in one year. But when it does come, you just be like, wow. So I was stressing about this thing and it was always meant to be mine. And some people too, their life is going faster or slower, but that's how your life is meant to be. So you have to like accept your life. And like I say, trust me, the dreams you have, the vision you have for yourself is meant to be in your life. You just have to be patient and actually put in the work. I always tell people effectiveness and not longevity. So it's by the small time you put in today to put in some work. But yeah, you did one hour work. Wow, I'm so glad you did that. T tomorrow, same thing. Putting in that little, little effort 
per day to try and pick yourself up and you're gonna do it i love you guys so so much oh my god this outro was so long like guys jesus christ blood of jesus i'm just glad i can actually share this with you guys i love you guys so much all the details and links to this lovely hair will be down below in the description box tap on it love it shop it if you know how much this hair is for you is it still you know let me not ruin the surprise so just go tap on the link find out all the information ali for this is not the first time you guys have seen all their hair quality or nothing darling so do tap on it i love you guys so much see you in my next video next saturday Mwah. bye besties